Okay. The afternoon of his arrival in Washington, Raymond Shaw was decorated at the White House by the President of the United States. His citation attested to by his commanding officer, Captain Bennett Marco, and the nine surviving members of his patrol read in part. Displaying valor above and beyond the call of duty, did single-handedly save the lives of nine members of his patrol, capturing an enemy machine gun nest, and taking out in the process a full company of enemy infantry. He then proceeded to lead his patrol, which had been listed as missing in action for three days, back through the enemy lines to safety. General Rich Soil. Allow me to introduce our American visitors. I must ask you to forgive their somewhat lackadaisical manners, but I have conditioned them, or brainwashed them, which I understand is the new American word, to believe that they are waiting out a storm in the lobby of a small hotel in New Jersey, where a meeting of the Ladies' Garden Club is in progress. You will notice that I have told them they may smoke. <laughs> I've allowed my people to have a little fun in the selection of bizarre tobacco substitutes. <laughs> Are you enjoying your cigarette, Ed? Yes, ma'am. Raymond, pull your chair over here by me, please. I am sure you've all heard the old wives' tale that no hypnotized subject may be forced to do that which is repellent to his moral nature whatever that may be. Nonsense, of course. Oh, you note-takers might set down a reminder to consult Brenman's paper, uh, Experiments in the Hypnotic Production of Antisocial and Self-Injurious Behavior, or Wells' 1941 paper, which was titled, I believe, Experiments in the Hypnotic Production of Crime. Take this scarf and strangle Ed Mavoli. Uh, to death. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Pardon. Hey, Sarge, cut it up. <laughs> quiet, Ed, please. Now you just sit there quietly and cooperate. Yes, ma'am. at the point that he finishes the phrase, nor would I ask of any fellow American in defense of his freedom that which I would not gladly give myself, my life before my liberty. Is that absolutely clear? How about passing the time by playing a little solitaire? Let's start unlocking a few doors. Let's begin with the patrol. You didn't save our lives and take out an enemy company or anything like that, did you, Raymond? Did you? No. What happened? The patrol was taken by a Russian airborne unit and flown by helicopter across the Manchurian border to a place called Tungwa. We were worked on for three days by a team of specialists from the Pavlov Institute in Moscow. Take a good look at him, Raymond. Look at him, and while you're looking, listen. This is me, Marco, talking. Fifty-two Red Queens and me are telling you, you know what we're telling you? It's over. The links, the beautifully conditioned links are smashed. Boy.
made to commit acts too unspeakable to be cited here by an enemy who had captured his mind and his soul. He freed himself at last, and in the end, heroically and unhesitatingly gave his life to save his country. Raymond Shaw.